Uh, on some other news, and uh, after making its debut at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, skateboarding will again be on the program for Paris 2024. Yeah, it's one of the latest youth-focused sports to be featured to make the event feel more inclusive. And it's got one of the youngest average ages for competitors as well. Nick Smith reports. From street sport to Olympic centre stage. Despite global popularity, skateboarding took nearly 80 years since its inception to find its way into the world's biggest multi-sport event. But Tokyo trailblazers, like Team GB's bronze medal winning prodigy Sky Brown, have helped it become a mainstay. Josh Thorpe is an aspiring pro skater here in Chippenham and says it made youngsters keen to learn the skills and even dream of Olympic glory one day. I think having skateboarding in the Olympics and the parents seeing it, how big skateboarding has grown, has gotten them to realise that it's not just a sport for like little kids, it's actually a professional level. Nowadays the tricks level has gone up like massively, there's more younger kids in the Olympics, 13 years old, that are skating like the top of their game, so having that is and just going to boost it even more. 16-year-old Lily Strachan has her sights set on Paris for Team GB and is one qualifier away from making the cut. It would mean a lot to me. I really want to represent GB doing something I really love. I think everyone who skated at Tokyo was so inspiring for me and they definitely inspired me to start skating more regularly to try and get to their sort of level. It's so cool that it's such a new sport and there's all these girls that are kind of paving the way for this like Olympic style of skateboarding. Skateboarding in the Olympics will just have so many benefits from the grassroots, sort of upgrading the facilities, new facilities, um, the support for coach development, events. That whole scene, the growth in the scene, just really comes up from having such a sort of mainstream lens on it. Those who've turned their hobby into a lifestyle, like Faisal Shah and his Skate the World project, say skateboarding finding its way into the Olympic family feels like a recognition that it's a serious competitive sport and not just a form of counterculture. Seeing skateboarding return to the Olympics is really a refreshing thing to see because it means that you know the big sporting bodies finally recognise skateboarding as the challenging sport as it is because from my personal experience skateboarding, it's a massive test of confidence and self-belief in yourself. And if it's so strong, you can push yourself to do incredible things. Like years ago, skateboarders would never have thought of becoming Olympians, but now we're a part of the squad now. Skateboarding's inclusion at a second consecutive Olympics is all part of an effort to modernise the games and actually recognise that sports which were once considered niche or a little bit edgy actually have a much wider appeal. And who knows, a future Team GB medal winner could be found at a local skate park just like this one. Nick Smith, ITV News.